Okay, welcome back. This is part 20 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in the last video, what we did is I showed you how to get the latest users that have registered and have activated their accounts uh, and display them. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of style it a little bit. Um, but it's not going to be too much because I still haven't really decided how I want it to look in the end. Uh, but just something to get us started. Uh, now the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your uh, main.css file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. And the reason I'm copying this is because um, we're going to create a class. And for now, I'm just going to call it box, um, for lack of a better name. And this class is only going to be valid inside of our left content. So anytime we have the box class uh, that's inside of our left uh, content area, it's going to have uh, it's going to have this style to it. Uh, now inside of our box, we're going to have a top area and we're going to have a bottom area. So we're going to create a top and bottom class. Now, our top area is going to contain our text for now. Right now it's the latest registered users. I should say users. Put an S on that in a bit. Um, and for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the uh, font size to... Eh, I guess I'll go with 20 pixels. Um, I am also going to set a color, um, and I have the color chosen out already here on colorpicker.com. It's kind of this reddish color, actually I want it a little bit like that. There we go. So put that in, and I forgot that. Um, and uh, I'm also going to put a font uh, weight. And if I could spell weight wrong, right for that matter, or font. There we go. So I'm going to put a font weight of bold. So what it's going to do is it's just going to make uh, all the text inside of our top area, it's just going to make it bold. Now, for now, in our uh, bottom area, I'm just going to put a left margin of. Man, I can't spell. I'm going to put a left margin, margin dash left of about 20 pixels. Um, so what that's going to do is it's going to indent our content. Um, now what we need to do is we need to put in the class uh, styles for the uh, page. God, I'm spelling everything wrong. Um, so the first class style is our box. Now inside of our box we're going to have uh, We're going to have our top class, there we go, and we can get rid of this line break and just change it to an end div. And we are also going to have our bottom class. Now, we also need to end our top, our box class and our bottom class. So, after our while loop ends, I'm going to put in another echo statement. And the only thing that echo statement is going to contain is two end divs, just like that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pause it, I'm just going to FTP the files up, uh, styles, and grab the CSS file. Okay, there we go. So give me a second, there we go. So if I refresh the page, you can see we now have this red text, which uh, I'm probably going to change that red, um, or change the color. Uh, anyway, so we have our text colored. And then we have our links, and they don't actually go anywhere because uh, we just put them as a pound symbol. Um, so it's displaying our latest users, and you can see we've got this 20 pixel margin, left margin, for our bottom class. Uh, and so that's kind of indenting the text, so it makes it look a little bit nicer. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to decide on what color I want. Okay, so I uh, sort of decided more of on a color. Uh, and it's still a reddish color, it's uh, darker, and I forgot to change that to users. There we go. Um, so that pretty much ends this video, uh, s a short segment on how to display the latest users that have registered for your site. And now eventually, once we create the user profile page, uh, this will link off to their profile page, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, but for now, um, that's about it, and I'm off screen here because I'm going to FTP that index file up. Um, so what we're going to start on next, in the next video, is I'm going to show you, uh, and this is a uh, user 
uh, requested a thing. There we go. Um, somebody requested, I believe his name was Bexus101 or something like that. Uh, sorry, man, if I'm getting your name wrong. Uh, but I believe that was his name. And he thought he said uh, that he would like to see a, a user-driven or member-driven uh, download upload section, which I thought would be kind of nice. Uh, so what it's going to do is it's going to allow users uh, that are logged in, uh, they'll be able to view a download page that will list all the downloads that people have uploaded, and uh, we'll display various information with it. Um, and uh, But you must be logged in to view that page, so we're going to put in uh, uh, protection, and so uh, only logged in users will be able to see that. Um, and we're also going to make it so anyone that's logged in will be able to upload to uh, the, uh, to my site or your site or whatever. They'll be able to upload to the site, and then uh, it'll automatically dis be displayed in that on that download page. And uh, eventually, we'll also get in to make it so you can go back and edit those files and the information with it. Now, I haven't decided how I'm going to do the upload. Uh, whether I do a PHP upload which I probably won't do because there's a limit on that and I'll explain that later um, or I might do JavaScript jQuery upload or maybe Flash I don't know though it'll probably be JavaScript jQuery which I probably won't code that out I'll just give you the code for it um, won't code it in the video so yeah um, so that uh, concludes this segment on how to display the latest registered users on your site so thanks for watching Okay, actually, so scratch what I just said about the user upload um, download section. I will eventually get to that, but I think what I'm going to actually do next is I'm going to work on the user profile page. So each user is going to have their own profile page, and I'll show you how to do that because a lot of people have requested that before uh, from my login registration tutorial. So I think I'll do that first, and, uh, and so yeah. So that's going to be, uh, next I'm going to do a user profile page, and then after the profile page, I'll make it so users can go in and edit their own information and add new information and whatnot. So, yeah.